Assalamu alaikum. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a lesson. Now, let's start. Hi, welcome to lesson six. In this lesson, we're going to learn the past tense, al fa'l al madi. Let's get started. So, as you see here, we said that the word in Arabic divided into three categories ism, fa'l, harf. And then we talked about the types of the verbs fa'l madi, fa'l mudara, fa'l am. Let's start explaining more in fa'l madi. Fa'l madi, it's let's write a bunch of different verbs. We say, for example, kataba, ka, ta, ba. Kataba means wrote, but actually it means he wrote. And you need to know something. In Arabic, when we start to write the verb, verb is always comes with its conjugation. And the default conjugation we start with and we start from is the conjugation that talks about him, he. Kataba means he wrote. Let's have an example. I can say kataba kataba Muhammad kataba Muhammadun ad-darsa kataba Muhammadun ad-darsa what does it mean? It means Muhammad wrote the lesson. Let's have another example. We can say um, Nama 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 means he slept Nama he slept I can say Nama Echi which means My brother slept. Nama Echi. And we can say also Zahaba. Zahaba. It means he went. For example, I can say the haba al maridu ila al mustashfa. Almos Tash Fa The Habal Maridu Ilan Mustashfa. The Haba, that means he went. Al Maridu, that means the patient 
the sick man. Ila means to. ذهب إلى. Went to. المستشفى means the hospital. So it means the patient went to the hospital. Let's have another last example. We can say سافر سافر means he traveled he traveled so let's have an example I can say um سافر David سافر David إلى بريطانيا سافر David إلى بري Britannia, which means David. So, oh, sorry. Which means David. Safra means he traveled. So David traveled to. Ila means to Britannia, which means Great Britain. So. Those are examples for the past tense, al-fa'l, al-madi. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about the present tense, al-fa'l, al-mudara. Thanks for watching. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with any questions or topics you would like to see next. And make sure to subscribe to support the channel and stay updated with new videos. See you the next lesson.